really steep. Really steep. Good afternoon everyone and welcome to another video. Thanks very much for clicking on this one. Most appreciated. So we're out. Uh, we're out in beautiful Sussex in England today and uh, it's a bit of a change of plan. I was actually due to go somewhere else but circumstances changed and I am where I am and I'm rather glad mainly because the weather is so much better than it was the last time that I was with you. I'll put a link up on the screen if you haven't seen that video. So the destination today is a Bronze Age hill fort. I have camped on a hill fort before, but this is a different location. I've actually had my eye on this one for a little while now. So I'm quite excited about heading up and exploring it. I've been easy on myself. It's not too far in terms of where I've parked the car and the climb up to the fort. It's uh, just coming up to 4 p.m. now. So I've got a couple of hours of daylight left. What we'll do is we'll, we'll head up there. We'll have a little bit of a recce, a bit of a scout about, and then we'll find somewhere to wild camp. We're having quite a mild one today. In fact, this weekend in England, temperatures today are hitting around 17 degrees, which is a bit crazy, bearing in mind it's going to be November next week. Tonight, we're expecting temperatures not to dip much at all, really. Uh, probably gonna get about 14 or 15 degrees, which is crazy, crazily mild for this time of year. All the gear I've got is kind of winter gear, really, but uh, better safe than sorry. But I suppose there's every possibility I might be a bit too warm. So I'm having one of those moments where the path on the map doesn't actually exist, which is quite interesting. So I've either got quite a big detour or I've got this pathway that isn't on the map, but looks like it's heading in the direction of the hill fort. So I don't know whether this is uh, partly made by animals or whether it's been used by walkers, but I think I'm gonna give it a go. really steep really steep uh, according to my OS map I'm actually it would seem getting back onto the path that I thought wasn't there so I'm quite pleased I follow my instinct there fantastic we have a decent path. The views are already really good. I'm not even at the top yet.
Welcome back everybody. Uh, we're at we're at about 5 p.m. now and uh, we're at the fort and it's a really really nice hill fort. I've been having a bit of an explore just in the process of uh, walking the circumference of the fort, getting the lay of the land. Um, what's different about this hill fort compared to the last one that I camped on, I put a link up in case you've not seen that one, is um, this one has lots and lots of trees planted in the top of the fort, um, which could be quite good. It gives me, um, gives me a few more options really and gives me a bit of cover if I want to be a bit stealthy. Saying that, I'm the only one here. Um, I've seen absolutely no one at all. I saw a farmer in the distance in a tractor and that's about it. And I've not even seen any mountain bikers, which usually you do tend to get, but I don't know whether it's because it's midweek, maybe it's because it's not the weekend, things are a bit quiet, but that kind of works to my advantage. So I'm gonna have a bit more of a scout about, see what's what, and then have a think about where I'm gonna put the tent. folks after much procrastinating and wandering around um, this lovely little hill fort um, I found somewhere to put the tent uh, so just gonna wait a tiny bit longer um, got about half an hour of daylight left but basically it is going to be right here so I've deliberately not put myself right on the edge but just on the inside of the tree line um, it's also the place with the least amount of cow pats um, I don't really want cows trampling me in the night or in the morning. Um, and then if I have worked this correctly, uh, east is that way. So we should, in theory, all being well, um, get a bit of a sunrise there in the morning. Welcome back all, shelters up. Not a bad little spot, I have to say. I think sometimes it pays to procrastinate and to walk around your potential sites for wild camp pictures. So um, I'm quite pleased. So we're just coming up to half past six and the weather is turning a little bit. Now there was no rain forecast, but obviously I am reasonably high up in, in terms of hills in the south of England um, and there's a, a load of cloud and moisture kind of coming in so it's not quite raining but there's a heavy mist kind of coming in from the east and descending on the hill fort here so it's quite atmospheric. I've got the sound of the of the woods and the trees behind me and the wind kind of blowing which is quite nice and then hopefully fingers crossed um, I've got my view in the morning of the sunrise. Uh, and of course, I forgot to mention, um, I've gone for the large uh, brew dog punk IPA. I do like the smaller ones, but just um, they're quite suitable for hiking. But I wasn't going that far today, so I thought, you know what, just chuck a big one in the rucksack. Oh, so, in terms of gear, everyone, um, I'm not really going to go into it. It's the usual stuff, the usual stuff that you see me use. The only thing that is slightly different is I've got um, this pillow. It's the, oh, there's a label here somewhere, Trachology. There we are. It's the Trachology Aluft Pillow Deluxe. Um, I haven't used this much, so I just thought I might as well give it a go again. So, got that tonight um, to sleep on. Um, my Cascade Wild um, Ultralight Table. I'm using that quite a lot actually at the moment. Um, it's really good. And also it's quite good to flip over and you can use it as a tray as well, which is good. Um, my water's down there. Um, in my blue 
uh, dry bag over there. That's where I, I keep all my food. So that's got my stuff in there, snacks, chocolate, main meal, get that out in a bit. Um, and then that's my little rechargeable tent light, which I'm using a lot actually, it's pretty good. And those of you not familiar with the uh, Wild Country, the excellent Wild Country Helm Compact One Tent, which I, I use quite a lot actually, um, there's a little vestibule at the back and I use that to put my uh, rucksack, I've got my uh, wet gaiters down that end and I've got my shoes there. So it's really nice just to kind of have that out of the way. Um, if I want to, I've got, um, I can zip that up. There's a mosquito net door and then I've got the full door there I can put up if things were particularly blowy or cold. I'm kind of leaving it all open at the moment. Um, there's no real bugs at the moment so I might zip it up later but I'm just kind of getting a bit of airflow. Um, if the weather does turn a little bit funny and it gets a bit heavier rain wise then I might batten down the hatches but at the moment it's so mild I've just got everything open. So I thought it'd be of interest to you guys just to see the food and the snacks that I brought with me on this autumn night on the hill fort. So we have some Gray's Marmite Crunch Snacks. Can't remember where these came from, but these are quite nice. We've got a Summit to Eat uh, dehydrated meal, beef stew with potatoes. Had that one before, so I'm going to be having that one for my main tonight. Probably not going to use these, but I, I just because they're so light, I tend to always throw in a packet of these as a backup. But I never end up using them, but hey. Super noodles, can't go wrong with super noodles. Um, I've got some chocolate, granola bar, another granola bar, hot chocolate sachet. Uh, this is just assorted tea bags in there because I do like tea. And I've in here, it looks like just a screwed up um, plastic bag, but these are actually um, coffee bags um, made by a company called Fath. Um, I reviewed these a little while ago, um, so I got a couple of those um, for my breakfast in the morning. And those are my snacks. I know it's a mild day, but the uh, temperature is dropping a bit now. So I'm quite glad I still remember to pack my tent booties. These are the Montaigne Prism booties, I believe. I think they've been upgraded now. There's a new model, new design. Um, but yeah, these are lovely just to sort of slip on when you're in the tent, just keep your feet nice and cozy. So nice, really warm, hearty meal. Recommend this one. All fed, all sorted, surprisingly tired. It's only, it's not that late really, but just want to get my head down now, get some sleep. So I shall bid you good night. See you in the morning.
Morning everyone. It is half past eight. It's quite unusual to be still around in a wild camp at this time, but the nights are getting longer and the sunrise is getting later. So yeah, how did the night go? Well, weather-wise it wasn't too bad. It did get quite breezy and quite windy overnight. Um, it wasn't raining as such, but there was a lot of moisture, a lot of water in the trees above me. And what was happening was regular gusts of winds were coming in and blowing all that water off the trees and slamming it into my tent with all the leaves. So a um, little bit of a wet tent this morning, but no big deal. Uh, sleep wise, it wasn't great. It was quite broken, if I'm honest with you. I was using the climate insulated Static V sleeping mat but for some reason I would only feel comfortable side sleeping on it. So whenever I lay sort of flat on my back, I was quite uncomfortable and my back was aching quite a bit. I don't know why that was. Might have been to do with the ground, might have been a bit uneven. Um, so that was a bit frustrating, but I got sleep, so I can't complain. Sunrise, well, it's been a bit overcast. I managed to get a little bit, as you saw, a little bit of sunshine footage but not quite the sunrise that i was hoping for um, at this high point in sussex but never mind thinking of having another coffee and then i'll do that bit that i really don't enjoy which is take it all down pack it all up and then we'll have to head off Well, I'm afraid it's time to say goodbye from the hill fort. Thank you very much for clicking on this video and sticking with me if you've made it this far. If you've liked it, as always, give it a thumbs up if you can. It does help the channel. And if you want to, please do jump in the comments. Let me know what you're thinking, as always. Uh, as you can see, I've left absolutely no trace here this morning. I've taken everything with me you saw earlier. So please, 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 if you are choosing to wild camp uh, here in the UK uh, or anywhere, in fact, please always take everything out with you. Don't leave any trace that you've been there. Um, and then it gives us a good reputation, doesn't it, as wild campers. That's what we're aiming for. So I've got a pretty short hike back to the car downhill, thankfully. And I shall see you on the next one.